Hi guys and welcome back to Sunhaven. So today is going to be a bit more of a chilled episode while we wait for Elias to come back. So I was thinking we might focus on cleaning up our farm. Got some harvesting to do here, lots of stuff to sell. Could also do a bit more farming I guess. Um, we can also start working on things like wooden planks so that we can start fixing the cafe. Because um, as we clean up, we're going to have even more, um, what is it called? Even more wood because we're going to be cutting down trees. So that being said, it is going to be uh, quite a chilled episode. So let me know what you guys think of this style. Is it too boring? Do you like the chilled episodes? Let me know in the comments. All right, we'll set those to craft. Also, what we should do is work on some of our um, villager quests. Um, and I think I have an idea about Jin's flower, so we're also going to take a look for that. But for now, let's see what we have in our inventory. Oh, we do have some seeds here, so we can do some planting later. Got some pepper seeds as well. Let's sell this green root. All right, so we might go through to the general store to go pick up some different seeds as well. First, things are first. Let's find our way down to the beach. Because I'm really hoping we can get two more starfish for Kitty. So while we're here, maybe we spend some time and we just clean up our beach a little. Alright, that's much better. So here we have a clam. Not quite what we're looking for. Perhaps we should start keeping some things like this in our um, storage for the next time someone asks for them. Because previously we have had a lot of luck with starfish and clams and sand dollars. But of course, as Murphy's Law goes, now that we need them, we're a little bit short. So we'll take another look down here. I don't know how long they take to respawn. Well, the, the baddies, we know how long they take. So we're actually just going to waddle past them. Yeah, it's not much around here. Oh, there are some coins. Sorry, sir. Alright. Oh, sorry, kitty. No luck in that regard. Okay, well, let's take a wonder. First thing I want to do before it slips my mind is with regards to Jin's flowers, what I have heard is that the description is a little bit off. So it says bridge flower, but it's actually pretty close to the tavern is what I've heard. Oh my goodness, guys, it's right here. There we go. Here is the bridge flower. Would you look at that? Oh my goodness. All right. Now we can speak to Jun. Also, just have a look around for other quests. I did see someone down here. Should also be looking for some better weapons and some armor, I think. What happened to your armor? I took a tumble in the mines. My cap fell off my head and the light went out. I got so flustered that I forgot my cap down there. Shame too. That was my favorite mining cap. Um, what does it look like? It's green with a light in the front, but I think it's burnt out. Sorry to hear about your cap. Maybe you'll find another one like it. Doubtful. That cap was made for me by my grandmother. No one makes a cap like that. I'll find your cap for you. Well, how about that? I'll be remarkably grateful if you did. Well, okay. <laughs> I guess we can go into the caves too. Good day, adventurer. Um, let's have a look at what he's selling. So, I come from my trip. So, at the moment, from what I'm hearing from people, um, there might be a little bit of a money 
unbalancedness thing because people are saying that they're like really accumulating money quickly and i guess that means we should be spending it right um hmm i don't know i mean do we like sit in for the long haul it's fifty thousand gold for the mithril sword the iron sword for four thousand we don't have a crossbow yet but honestly like we're using our attacks over here what is the damage comparison doesn't tell interesting sell price on the copper sword is quite a lot um I want to think about that a bit more. Also, I don't see any armor here. I guess we get the armor at the blacksmith. Rex's cap. Okay, bulletin board. Sure, we'll donate money. Oh, no, we can't do milk. Because we don't have the farm animals. Oh, just a little bit of lag for a second there we go we're back oh library yes library oh john you're here fantastic wonderful lisa thank you for your help i love finding new ways to raise people's spirits it means a lot to me no problem money xp yeah well let's we'll start leaning towards the xp side holy moly you're donating the entire 500 that's incredible leave it to the farm to get the job done i guess your donation will go a long way to help the kids no problem oh look who has a quest for us um in this case i think we'll take the money so we can earn back a little bit of what we gave her okay topi tell me hey lisa i need your help but you have to keep it a secret you promise you won't tell what's up <laughs> okay i promise my parents have been telling me i need to be more responsible lately and then i go and lose my notebook it's all my schoolwork inside can you help me find it i'll find your notebook what a relief you're a lifesaver Okay, Jun, what's up? What's up? Happy to pop into you. Have a moment to spare. Oh, this is the one we already know about. Why are you asking me? I would do it myself. But Liam scheduled a last minute session with me. What do you do after you have the cookies? Okay, so it doesn't really tell you. It's just have your cookies in no time. It's the same quest that we already know about. Okay, but we can't make cookies, bro. We don't know how. You're just going to have to wait a little, okay? Sorry. Um, Topi my friend tell us about your notebook somewhere in Sunhaven oh Toby well you know what buddy if we find it we'll let you know because you're quite difficult to you know track down Okay, well, we'll do one loop, just in case, and then, wait a second, after planting all those flowers, they now disappeared, oh, goodness, Jun, alright, I guess, it would have been nice if they stayed, hey Lucia, what's up? Let's have a look in the general store. So what do we have? Oh, an interesting chest. Oh, wow, look at those windows. Windows are quite pretty. Well, that's nothing we can start putting our money into. Emma, darling, with a gate? I'm too busy to worry about monsters. What do we want to be growing? I didn't look at what the peppers were actually bringing in. I guess because we got money, let's um, buy a bunch of peppers. Cool, another 15 peppers. Then might as well grab these apples. At some point, we're going to want to go and focus on feeding less nacoons. 
Oh wow, the days go so fast. It's already 4 p.m. We didn't even get to focus on our farm. Well, we will do that as soon as we planted stuff. Hmm, this tree is in our way and it's starting to bother me a little. Oh. No. Okay, we can get it out the water. It's not like Starchy Valley. Perfect. seeds I got some of these seeds as well we might as well pop in the ground drop more when it's harvested and this one grow significantly faster interesting we should we should be dabbling with our fertilizer you know so I think in Sunhaven you can put the seeds down first and then the fertilizer afterwards so let's do that Oh, till a little bit more than necessary. And then let's use the earth fertilizer on the pepper ones. Come on, fill your watering can. Mm, does she want it to be completely empty? No, that's not a thing. Okay, let's try again. Okay, you gotta go a little bit further away, like in line with this. So the way I like to do my watering is just kind of stand in the middle of a like a nine by nine grid like this, and then you can just hold down and you wait. She'll do everything for you. All right, so we are done for now. We'll clean up just a little bit. Uh, Snackoon food. I want to stack these more if possible. Uh, that was already better. We'll stick with that. Um, and then we'll keep the shells and things in here as well, I think. Maybe the fertilizer as well. Okay. Oh, I love the fertilizer sparkles. I want to fertilize things just so that they look like that. Okay, time to clear up some trees. Curious about these little blue orbs, you know, what's of what are they gonna be used for? I've been picking up little blue orbs and then little purple books or bookmarks.
I am curious that this is like Stardew Valley in the sense that it's a little bit early for us to be cutting grass and maybe we should be waiting until we have barn animals to put the grass in a silo for them. But not too worried. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Oh, there we got one of those little purple ticket things. Okay, it is 10 p.m. already, so we probably want to start wrapping up. As we found out in the previous episode, it definitely is midnight where you start passing out. Well, that's already looking much clean. Does this need cleaning up? No, each of the farms seems pretty okay. Maybe make some more wood in here. Yes, let's do that. Perfect. We're definitely going to have enough wood very soon. Yes, by tomorrow morning we'll have all the wood that we need. Oh, can we... Okay, we got nothing in our inventory, but we should start smelting some more bars pretty soon. But for now it is time for bed. Listen to my words, Lisa. Lisa, I have troubling news. Sunhaven's very fate may be at stake. I must see you at once. Well, I mean, I was kind of planning on doing other things today. Okay, some of our quests left us. That's fine, it happens. Okay. We'll just, look, we got things to do, Elios. We'll be with you post-haste. But first, you know. Just gonna do a bit of admin around the farm. Okay, there is all of our planks. Oh, you're done? <laughs> Perfect. Um, let's put them away for now. We've got other things we need to foco focus on at right this moment. Oh, skills. Can't have that sitting there the whole time. Farming. Um, I think we'll go with the crops one for now. Also, so we can open up the next layer. Oh, mana regen with your crops oh I love that definitely going for the snackoon one I wonder if it's I think it's permanent mana regen because it's quite a small amount and I wonder I'm sure things like apples like the foraging things will count Take the bulletin board on our way, Peter. No, I'm sorry, darling. Planks of wood for oh, Topi. Topi, Topi, Topi. Sure. Oh, Remy, you need something. Hey, Lisa, I heard good things about you. Supposedly, you have a variety of skills. I'm hoping one of the skills is combat. What's going on? Those blasted monkeys gave me a serious thrashing this morning. They're too dangerous. We need to do something. What do you need me to do? Slay some monkeys and get me their bananas. Hopefully the rest will get the message. Come find me when you're done and I'll gladly pay you. I'm on it. Can't wait to teach those monkeys a lesson. Cool. Well, we do need to go and um, 
deal with the monkeys at some point because our snack corn friends have also requested bananas. All right, Rosa, take us. Hey there, farmer. You had its dragon's meat? Yes. Yes, Rosa. Yes, yes, yes. At last you're here, Lisa. Bro, I came pretty quick. Calm down. My suspicions were correct. A powerful spell has been cast over the monster's city of Withergate, creating an everlasting darkness. This spell prevents my entry into the city, and at its source is the moon dragon, Dinus. Dinus conceals himself behind the safety of his spell while the darkness spreads over our world. If the spell reaches us, Sunhaven will be shrouded in eternal darkness. Lisa, I believe you have come to Sunhaven for a reason. I gave you my blessing because I sensed a greater power within you. Us and the other 10,000 people playing this game. Your power and wit is the key to our success. As I myself cannot confront Dinus, it is you who must stop his dark magic, Lisa. I realize I am asking you to walk a dangerous path, but you need not walk it alone. For guidance, travel west to the Elven City. West. <laughs> okay, yeah, west. I think you mean east, bro. <laughs> uh, I don't want to talk about it. Yep, yeah. Yeah, I know exactly where that is. I'm well acquainted. Travel west to the elven city of Navari and find the world dragon, Navara. I know the elven city is a mere myth to the humans, but it is as real as the dirt beneath your feet. Gaining entry will be difficult. The entrance to Navari lies deep within the western forest, guided by a mysterious puzzle. The key to the puzzle? I do not know. However, the elves consider their culture to be sacred. Learning more about the elves could provide insight into the puzzle's solution. I too have some teachings that will better prepare you to face Dinus. However, you will need to grow in strength before training with me. Ultimately, it is up to you to decide which path to take, but be warned, facing Dinus in your current state would be quite dangerous. Lisa, I suggest you chain, train with Navara and myself before confronting the Moon Dragon, but of course, this is your journey. Go now, prepare yourself. You must face Dinus and save Dunhaven, Sunhaven from a dark fate. Okay, buddy. The journey to Weathergate and the mystery of Nalvari. Very cool. Things are heating up. All right. So we're we're back here. We're back in the swing of things. Um. Yes, Topi. We know about your wood. Um, you know what, bro? It's possible we could get that wood to you in time. Although Saturdays, I don't know if he's... No, no, you know what, Toby? No, we're not doing this. We're not entering into this toxic relationship again where it's just us running around looking for you. That's not how this is going to go. Okay. We are going to go into the mine to look for Rex's cap. Because you know what? Rex is always around when we need him. Okay. Just saying. To the mines. Now that we're starting to get a little bit of a stockpile of ore, we should start working on the keys to permanently open the levels. Also, I cannot wait for those spells for blasting the rocks to oblivion. I want to make space here so that we can see when we pick up the elusive key. Just in case we miss it coming in on the left because we know that that has happened before. Okay, mining skills. Armor sells for more, money bags have more. Breaking a rock. Okay, we need one of these two. Um, 
in order to open up the next layer. So I think, I think we'll go with that one. So now we have access to crafting any items gives you 20 gold. Nice. All notes of it. Okay, I like that one. Getting more ore. That's a good one. Oh, there we go. We got the key. It also makes a cute little sound when you pick it up. Oh. That I keep. <laughs> Don't click the exit button. I do feel like luck is a mechanic in the game. Well, maybe of some sort, right? Because the first floor, one time we came in there and it was just filled with nodes and I think even gems. Perfect. That's good news. Alas, we need to make a little space so we can see the next key. There we go, we got it. We can squeeze through here. Yes. Perfect. Now we walk up to the gate, not up to the minecart. Also just checking how many copper keys we need. So currently two. I wonder if it'll change each sort of layer. Move some stuff again. I was just thinking maybe it is time to call it a day, but I don't think we've been to the next level down. Okay, this one also needs it. So we're just going to check out the next level. And then we'll head home a little bit earlier just so we can do a little bit more of sprucing up. Hmm, maybe we have been to this level. want to get the good nodes and then we'll dip.
Oh, we've got some lovely sapphires here. No, wrong one. That one, please. Thank you. Now, how to wriggle on through here. There we go. Perfect. Exit the mine. Hmm. I presume the library is already closed. Right. Rex is done for the day. Hi, Catherine. Bye, Catherine. <laughs> the jump is so fun. too bad with us guys and i'm gonna be ending this part off over here i hope that you enjoyed if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next one bye guys